Hi everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Priest app. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the true capacity of this lithium blade using the RC charger. Stay tuned. Quite a few repair shop reached out to me asking, hey, how can I find out the capacity of the lithium battery? Well, it's quite similar to the process that you have with the nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, however, there do have some a couple of differences that I want to go through with you guys. First thing being the uh, nickel metal hydride battery, you have to clamp it from both sides and put in equal amount of pressure to make sure it won't swell during the charge and discharge. Um, the second difference is the uh, lithium only have 14 blades. Uh, with the nickel metal hydride, you have to deal with 28 blades. That's uh, quite a lot of time you have to do that. And third difference is that the, uh, this is lithium, and lithium battery always needs uh, balanced charge and balanced discharge. That's why I bring you this uh, RC charger here today to show you exactly how to use a regular RC charger to do the balanced charge and discharge to find out the capacity. And these are the tool required to do the operation. First, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver, a small size Phillips screwdriver, and a needle nose plier, as well as adapter that convert the FP to XH. Uh, we are selling this on our website as well. And then uh, you're gonna need a, need a traditional or regular RC charger. Uh, any brand should work as long as the accuracy is there. All right, let's get the uh, operations started, shall we? Uh, first thing, uh, unscrew. There are a total of four screws holding the top cover. And I'm using a spatial blade as an example because that's the only blade I have right now. So the USC terminal on both sides, this is a special blade. All right, the second step is to pry open the top cover. Uh, with this, there are some glue in there to minimize the vibration of the cover. So you probably need to uh, stick the uh, your flathead screwdriver, small size, into the uh, top cover to separate the, uh, the, the glue a little bit here and there, and you can hear it. All right, and once you've done that, stick it out a little bit deeper, just a tiny little bit deeper, and then pry open, like so. There we go. Once you have the top cover open, you will see there's a balance board at this angle, at this location, and there's a plug or connector connect to the balance board. This is when you need a, a needle nose plier to help you unclip it from the bottom. See, if you, if you clamp it a little bit, it's gonna release it from the balance board. All right, but before you're doing so, let's pry out all the cable carefully so that make your job easier. There we go, all clear. And everything's insulated, but I would still suggest to put a piece of tape on top of one of the, the, the cell to make sure you, you don't short it by accident. Just clamp it and pull it out. Here we go. Now you have the balance plug pulling out. The next part will be connecting your adapter to this plug. This plug is automotive grade, so there's a clip to prevent it from falling off on the balance board. That's why it's different than the regular RC charger uh, plug. So clip it, on the other side, connect it to the charger. All right. 
and of course connect the positive, the main positive. You say it's right here, positive. Another one to the negative side. Okay, now let's move on to the settings of the RC charger. And once you have the balance port and the main plug connected, the next step is to configure your RC charger. Um, most RC charger has something called lithium phosphate mode or LIFE mode. You want to put it into like LIFE and as well as putting the lower voltage at 2.8 volt, the upper voltage at 3.6 volt, uh, and for charging and discharge current, set it at 6.5 amp. Okay, and with that, uh, you can start doing the charging and discharging to the battery. And I want you to write down the number. Um, this is the number X to uh, charge the battery to full. I want you to write this down so when you finish it, you can find out the original state of this battery. The reason being doing so is that if you want to put this back into a car with its own pack, you want the battery capacity at the same level. You don't want this to be completely full and put it back. Now you will get an error code. So make sure you write down the number this and of course the total capacity and calculate the original state so that it can be back to its pack. All right, uh, let's get it started. Uh, in this particular RC charger, it has something called cycle, a cycle mode. So you will do this for me. You will charge it to full, discharge it, tell me the total number, and then bring it back to the, um, the original. So actually bring it back to the storage voltage. This in phosphate, do a cycle to charge, discharge, and storage. Let's do it. And here we go. All right, after hours waiting, the result is out. Let's take a look. So you can see this charger charging up the battery for 5,000 milliamp and then discharge it all the way for 6,500 milliamp. That's the number you're looking for. This true capacity of this brand new lithium blade is 6,500 or 6,560 milliamp. So before you send, send it back to the car, install it back to the car, you need to make sure all other blades are within the same range, 6500, or maybe 300 milliamp delta. That will ensure there will be no air code and the battery will last for a long time. After it's all done, remember to pull the plug back into the balance board. Put a 90 degree into the cable and click into place like so. Then slowly pull the cable back in your case. Then put the cover back. <coughs> Remember you see the uh, positive and negative this time. It should be matching. Put a screw back in. All four of them. Now this blade is ready to install. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this content. I will see you at the next one.